Spurs help you live longer? A new study aims to answer that question. News 13's Lizay Mitri spoke with New Mexicans eager to hear what the research found. Jessica, the study looked at hot red chili peppers and it looks like it could be good news for New Mexicans. From the roaster to our favorite dishes. Chili is a hot commodity in New Mexico. Without green chili in New Mexico, I think a lot of us wouldn't survive. <laughs> we put it on everything from our eggs in the morning to our sandwiches to all our dinners and it's just important in our lives. So many were happy to hear the results of a study published by the Public Library of Science this month, which suggests eating hot red chili peppers could reduce the risk of dying early by 13%. Red chilies? Really? Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to have to start eating more red chili enchiladas. I'm an herbalist, and they're absolutely wonderful for getting not only the blood flowing, but all your energies flowing. That's a good thing. Let's add some red wine to it, and life will be good. The study's authors from the University of Vermont College of Medicine used data from more than 16,000 people who participated in a larger public health study. More research needs to be done to see if their findings can be attributed to capsaicin, the substance in peppers that makes them so spicy. It has antimicrobial properties and may defend against heart disease, the report says. For a place like New Mexico, where people are very particular about their chili. With my enchiladas, I think I prefer red. On my burgers, I prefer green chili. People are welcoming the news. I guess we're going to live the longest in New Mexico. We're going to dominate the world. <laughs> the researchers didn't have information on specifically how much chili people in their study were eating. Jessica, back to you. All right. Thank you, Lise. The study says hot red chili peppers can include a variety of different types. Well,